Hello again everyone, uh, this is just a quick video that I want to do about integrating um, in, in particular the Alexa, the Amazon, the Amazon Echo to with Kasambi system. As you know, it is not officially supported by Kasambi in any way, but there are ways around it, uh, but they are somewhat limited. So what you can see in front of you, or front of me, are two Kasambi ASDs. Each of them are wired off, wired to um, Sonoff Wi-Fi connectors. And I've got my uh, RGB light at the back there. So what I'm able to do now, because I've added these two Sonoff devices to my Alexa, uh, to, sorry, to my Amazon Echo, um, I can give Alexa commands to actually turn the two Sonoff devices on or off. And what that actually does is supplies power to either of the uh, A2D devices independently. And of course, using that, I can actually use a smart switching option to turn on a certain scene. So for example, Alexa, turn on the kitchen light. Okay. Uh, hopefully you'll have heard that click before the light came on, which is the relay. And I believe we're controlling number two right now. Alexa, turn off the kitchen light. Okay. And that's it. So we're using smart switching to turn a scenes on and off. And I'll show you that by going to sensors. That's because I've set these devices up as uh, present sensors. So there we are in sensors right now. You can see that the icon is actually greyed out. And of course, that's because the device is powered off. If I power it on by the command, Alexa, turn the kitchen light on. Okay. You can see the light has come on and also the icon for the present sensor has now appeared as well. The reason I put it in present sensors is because I don't want it to appear in the Luminaire's page. Okay, and if I go into the present sensor, you can see that I've used smart switching to control scenes. And the scene I've decided to control is white. A white scene. Uh, it's also remember to, important to remember to leave the toggle option enabled. Otherwise, the, you won't be able to turn off your lights using your Amazon Echo. However, as I said, it's not foolproof. You can only use the smart switching option. You can't dim or things like that. You can literally turn things on or off because that's all the Sonoff device is capable of doing. One other thing to bear in mind is because I've told the uh, Echo to the Amazon Echo to turn the lights on, if I now go and manually turn the scene off, from the Amazon Echo point of view, it believes the scene is still turned on. Uh, and that's because the Sonoff device is still giving power to the A to D, as you can see. So for example, I've manually turned off the lights. If I now try to turn them back on using an Amazon Echo command, Alexa, turn the kitchen light on. Okay. Hopefully you'll have heard the Echo say okay, but nothing actually happened. And of course, that's because the Sonoff device is powered on and it believes that the scene is actually already turned on. So the only way we can reset this with the Alexa now, Amazon Echo, is to turn them back off and then back on again. Alexa, turn the kitchen light off, please. Okay. Hopefully you'll have then heard that click. You can see that the, um, Presence device has now uh, gone grayed out again because it's been powered off. Alexa, turn the kitchen light on, please. Okay. And there we go, it comes back on, the light comes back on, and you can see that the presence device is also highlighted again as well. I'll very briefly show you how I've configured it in the Amazon Echo side of things. Again, what I'm doing is specific to these Sonoff devices. Um, if you're using some of the device, you'll have to follow their instructions as well. But the Kasambi side is identical. Um, you simply set up a device which is powered on and off from your Wi-Fi relay switch. 
so that your Kasambi device uses um, smart switching. Simple as that. The hardest part is actually setting up the, the Sonoff devices or your Wi-Fi relay switches.